Hi, my name is Roz Savage and I'm an ocean rower. I'm the first woman to row solo across three oceans, the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. Why do I do this, you might be wondering. Well, a few years ago I had an environmental epiphany. I suddenly realised that we have to take better care of this earth if we want it to take better care of us. And so I took up my oars for the cause, using my ocean rowing adventures as a platform to ask people to please be more environmentally aware, be more environmentally responsible. But actually, my adventures themselves have given me new insights into why we need to take care of this planet, and that's something I'd like to share with you today. First of all, there's nothing like 20-foot waves to remind you of where human beings stand in the overall scheme of things. On dry land, we can kid ourselves that we've got Mother Nature nicely under control, but when you're out there, you're very aware of just who's boss. And that's really made me think that whether the human race survives or becomes extinct, it's really, it's not a moral question. The question is not, do we deserve to survive? It's purely a question of science and physics. If we carry on taking all the good stuff out of the earth and turning it into carbon dioxide, turning it into rubbish, turning it into plastic, and throwing it into our landfills and into our oceans, that is not gonna work out so well for us. On a finite planet, what goes around comes around. I've also learned how little I really need to make me happy. There's a purity and a simplicity to life on the ocean. Provided that I've got enough to eat and enough to drink and I'm making a few miles in the right direction each day, then I'm a happy rower. I didn't always used to be like this. I used to have a very materialistic life. Before I became an ocean rower, I was a management consultant and really used to believe that money could buy you happiness. I used to want the big house and all the stuff to put into it. Now I find that not having much stuff gives me incredible freedom to think about the things that are really important in life, the things that really make me happy, things like friendships and relationships, and having a purpose and a passion in life, waking up every morning excited about what the day might bring. And the third thing is, sometimes people say to me, wow, you must be really brave to do what you do. And I wouldn't say that I am particularly brave. Um, I am often petrified out there in the middle of the ocean. I'm completely on my own, don't have a chase boat, and I could be 2,000 miles from the nearest help. But I found that you can overcome your fears when you're even more afraid of something else. And what really scares me is that we might not wise up in time, that we might not realize what we're doing to our one and only planet in time to save the human race. And I'm also afraid of how I would feel if I got to the end of my life and didn't feel like I had done absolutely everything in my power to make a difference. Because we really can all make a difference. People sometimes say to me, I'm just one person in seven billion. How can anything I do have an impact? And I use this metaphor of my ocean rowing voyages. It's taken me about five million oar strokes to row across 15,000 miles of ocean. One oar stroke only gets me a few feet, but you take five million of those and they really do add up. And by the same token, we are all every single day making a difference in the world. Every time we decide what to buy or how to throw it away or how to get from A to B, we as consumers are casting a vote for the kind of future that we want. So I'd like to ask you to please use those votes wisely. If we all pull together, if we all take responsibility, if we all find the courage to step up and be our best selves, we really can create a better, cleaner future for ourselves and for generations to come. Thank you very much.